those tornadoes did not only touch people in Tuscaloosa, but really across the entire state. More than 240 people died in Alabama on that day. You know, some emergency management agencies believe now people are more engaged and alert during severe weather. Others worry about dangerous, dangerous complacency. It's a mixed bag there. So we bring in CBS 42 news reporter Brittany Bivens, who's live in our newsroom to explain that. Brittany? Well, Jim, when it comes to community engagement and severe weather, there is good news and bad news. And while a lot has changed in six years, there's still work to do to keep people safe in these storms. April 27th, 2011, as dozens of tornadoes touched down, tragedy struck fast. It shook the state. It woke a lot of people up. From county to county, the devastation became clear. April 27th of 2011, there were so many people that thought they weren't prepared, but they learned that day they weren't. And I think there's been a lot of education and training since then, and our citizens are more prepared. Since then, a lot has changed. More towns and cities have community storm shelters. There are more ways to get weather alerts and warnings. And in places like Gadsden, community emergency response teams are gathering more volunteers. But as years go by, emergency management officials have another worry. Yes, we are six years down the road from those storms. We do not want people to get complacent. Complacent by not taking potentially dangerous storms seriously. Stay uh, alert, make sure that you have multiple ways to get information, have multiple ways to get warnings, make sure that you can get them. Daytime, evening, nighttime, you got to get them because your life may depend on it. Now, April and May are dangerous months for severe weather in Alabama. Emergency management officials say you need a plan in place for your home, work, and school, anywhere you may be when severe weather strikes. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.